All right, so here we're gonna go over your basic defense and counter punches. Defense means non-contact defense, we're actually getting out of the way of punches, and contact defense, we're actually blocking punches. So we're gonna start with the non-contact defense, your slips. Slips are basically just taking your head and moving it one head's distance to the side, either left or right, to get out of the way of straight punches. So a slip is just taking your opposite side shoulder. If I had a straight right coming at me, I want to slip outside that straight right. So now that person's exposed to the body or to the head because their right hand is out here over my shoulder missing. So I would just, I'm going to lay on my feet. You need to have that flow, that rhythm, so you can always just flow right into it. So if I'm slipping to my left, I want to think about taking my right shoulder and just dipping it down about 45 degrees. That's going to get my head off center and it's going to have me coiled up, ready to bam, counter punch. So a slip to the left is right here. We're going to go slip left and right. So I'm just going side to side. My hands are staying up and I'm just moving side to side in my waist. Slip left and slip right by just dipping, aiming with this shoulder 45 degrees. It's going to get your head off center and lower a little bit. It's all in your legs and your waist. That's it. Don't just move your head out of the way. It's not going to work. You need to also have a little bounce, a little flow, because if I'm just stiff here, flat-footed, I'm not going to have enough speed or energy. I need to already have a rhythm, a little flow here, so I could just pop it out just like that. So there's our slips. Next is our ducks. Ducks are to get underneath big hooks, big haymakers. Again, I'm using my legs. Think of a duck as an angled squat, a V-shaped squat, literally just coming down and up underneath the punch. So if I had a big right hook coming at my head, I would just duck underneath it because now they're exposed if they miss that hook and I can ex explode on them. Same thing ducking to the right. I'm going to be here, then I can come up on that exposed side. When you're ducking, it's all in your legs. Just think right here. You only have to go low enough to get to the punch. You don't need to duck way under here. It's just gonna, not going to put you in position. It's going to put you off balance. Not going to put you in position to counter punch. So our slips are just head movement side to side. Our ducks Look at my upper body. I'm maintaining the same boxer's posture and stance, just using my legs to go underneath the punches. Think of it as a V-shape. Now blocks. Now we're going to get to contact defense. Your blocks. Blocking the head first. All you're doing is like you're answering the phone and rolling the punch. If I had a right hook coming to my head and I'm not going to have enough time to get out of the way to duck, bam, I just need to block it. So when I block, this right hand is staying up in my chin. I don't want to raise this elbow up too high. I'm making a triangle with it. But I want to keep the elbow pointing down as much as possible so I'm not too exposed in my body. So I don't want to come up here. It's just here. Answer the phone. At the same time, I'm peeking at you right here. So I'm here crunching, but at the same time, my eyes are still here. So I'm not turning, taking my eyes off of the opponent. I need to always keep my eyes on the target so I can see the next punch coming in. So just blocking right here is just crunch, little crunch, lots of waste and oblique work. <laughs> Blocking side to side. Crunch, crunch. I could go to either side first. It doesn't matter. It's just hand to the ear like you answer the phone, but keep that elbow tucked as much as you can. Don't let it raise up. Same game to the body. I don't want to just come down here to block my body because my face is exposed. So I want to keep my hand here and look, I'm just crunching with it. I don't want to turn too much. It's going to expose my kidneys. So I just want to think about blocking my ribs and roll with the punch. This would be blocking a right hook coming in here. This would be blocking a left hook coming in here. So it's just crunch, crunch. You can see my chin is staying tucked, my hands are staying up. So I'm not dropping my hands down here to block. Keeping them here, crunch, crunch. See, I'm lowering my body down to it so I don't expose my ribs, but also don't want to keep my chin up. My chin is down. This is all moving together. Of course, if you have that rhythm, that flow, sh sh I could block here. So you could block high, high, low, 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 high, low. Mix it up. Always keeping those hands as close to home as possible. So that was our slips. Moving your head side to side, non-contact. Our ducks, moving up and down, non-contact defense, and then head blocks and body blocks. All your basic defensive movements. No excuses.